welcome back to the channel and this will be the video for the second drip contest in arcane odyssey this will be about the dark sea drip contest and basically i'll be explaining how can you submit where do you submit and what is required for you to do to be able to get high ratings in a drip contest in this one only i'll be judging and I'll be giving all the ratings. I'll be doing it with a live stream. So like I'll be live streaming the ratings after two weeks. And the drip contest will last for two weeks. And it will be on my Discord server. The Blazing Pirate Discord server is linked in the description below. And I'll also be explaining how you can join. And how you can submit your things. But let's first get over what do you, what is allowed and what is not allowed to like your trip so like our game passes are allowed are these hats are allowed are those hats allowed or like what what's the what's the thing what's the criteria so let us begin so for this one all game passes are allowed meaning every game pass including the multiple hats game pass like this one here all of this is allowed so you can use extra vanity slots no problem you can even use the muscles game pass if you want to. If I go to store, you can use the muscle game pass if you want to. Or you can also use animation packs. That's all up to you. However, there are some catches. When you use a game pass, you will get minus two points. Each game pass you use is minus two points to your total score. That means that let's say you use the muscles game pass for your drip that is minus two points to your total score this is so that it's fair for everyone okay next one is also animation packs it is also minus two points if you use an animation pack because you know animation packs does in fact make you look cool if you take a photo of your charging animations this is the boss animation pack it looks really cool that will also count as minus two points if you do take a photo with it with animation pack it won't count if you don't use animation pack and it won't count if you use the muscle game pass if you don't use the muscle game pass in your thing so that won't be, be applied to you however if you use the hat game pass it's a different story so in the game we have five hats yes we have five hats these are all hats the left side is all hats on the right, these are the chest plate and, the, and then the pants, and then we have the weapons. I have a system, so it's to make it somewhat fair for everyone. Basically, each hat you use is minus two points, but you start off with 10 points with the hats. So you start off with 10 points and with the hats, every hat you use, every hat you used is minus two points. So if you are, let's say like no, a non game pass user, if you use three hats, you'll have four points remaining and that'll be your starting point. If you have zero hats, that'll be 10 points. If you have all hats, you will start with zero points. So each of these ones has two hats. So this is minus, uh, this is two points, I two points, uh, four points, six points, eight points, and finally 10 points. So yeah, this is so that you're, you're encouraged to use less hats to make your drip uh, look better. And like it also, how do you say? It's to encourage you to basically find the best combination of hats now these one points and two points i mean won't really matter in the long run because there are there are other things that we will be criticized for or rated for and another thing is that your weapons also count so as a pirate let's say i because my drip is a pirate i'm a pirate king pirate captain thing i need to pick the right weapons as well Right now, I'm using a musket. I should be using a flintlock, which looks just better with it. And scimitars, they work, but it would look like the you want you want to use something that fits your character. For me, the scarlet tooth dagger does fit my character really well. So if I you get the rapier and the scarlet tooth dagger, no, I mean the flintlocks. 
this looks really good. This is just drip wise. It doesn't have to be weapon that you, that you use. Or like you have to use this weapon. No. This is just to make it look cool. And as you can see, it looks really cool. So two guns on each side. So two swords on each side. It looks really awesome. And this will count towards your drip. So now let's get over what is considered dark sea drip. Dark sea drip is any new item or modifiers from this dark sea update like after the dark sea update so any item that uses atlantean is considered dark sea drip any item that uses modifiers let's say the frozen sorcerer robes this is also dark sea drip i would consider this as dark sea drip and you can use it for your build making. You can even things, not even Atlantean things, even items such as the Grey Theurgus Cloak. It's a Dark Sea item, and it's, so it's considered. Even using the Vitrekos armor is considered Dark Sea Drip. You just need to have one item from the Dark Sea. It doesn't have to be the entire thing. So I can wear something along the lines of this. And I'd be considered Dark Sea Drip because this is the new modifiers and they look really, really, really good. This is basically that's all that's literally the criteria is that you have to use at least one item from the Dark Sea and everything else can be whatever. It can be the weapons, it can be your hats, it can be your chest pieces, anything. Anything from the Dark Sea that counts. And it also, if you don't have any items, that's fine as well. You can then try to make something that is related to the Dark Sea. So let's say a sailor that is going in the Dark Sea. Something like Edward Kenton. He looks ready for the Dark Sea. He looks really prepared. So if you try to make something that looks like it is very prepared for the Dark Sea, that will also count as basically that you are Dark Sea dripped out. Like you are ready for, to go to the Dark Sea. So if you don't have any of the items, that's fine as well. And yeah that's about it really so basically just rules every game pass you use is minus two points you start off with 10 points and every hat you use is minus two points each you can use any chest piece and any pants it doesn't matter and use weapons to also uh help with the drip as well as the final thing is that you have to pay 1k galleons to join and i'll get over how you can pay and stuff like that so now let's talk about how you can submit and join the Discord and how you can submit your, your submissions and also pay the amount to get in, of course. So, when you first join the server, you won't really have any roles. You, as you can see, I'm using it as a very unverified role. What you want to do is, once you click on the link in the description below, that's the server link, you want to go to Rules Verify and then you want to press tick here. This will allow you to see the channels and basically just let you see all the channels and you, but you cannot talk in them yet. To join the drip contest, you have to make sure that you also Roblox verify. I made this so that you can't just, you know, have multiple Discord accounts, all the accounts to then join the drip contest and then do stuff there and like spam the chats. I don't want that to happen. I want to make sure that you have Roblox verified and then only can you join it. So let's say you are Roblox verified. Let's go to Roblox verified. Once you do that, now you can talk in all the channels. You can go to every channel that you can see here. That is done. Now, once you have done that, basically you can then see, uh, once you're Roblox verified, you can see the event tab here. It is above general. And here, you can just click on it, and here is where you will make all your things. So, how do you make a post? I've already made a little post here as an example, and let's see what it does. So, this post is basically an example post on what you should be doing. Basically, you want to make the title of your post your in-game username, so that I can easily search everything about like like i can easily search the name and see if like what they're doing and then like, i can mark down each one easy easy like that and 
you can you don't need to put any of the tags only i can put the tags and only moderators can put the tags but that's for like that's for the payment part the way you want to put it is that you want to take a photo or multiple photos of the same outfit only one outfit per person per post as well and if you want to post multiple things you can like multiple outfits but it's 1000 each outfit just so you know and you also have to pay a thousand gallons for each outfit you post so like if you have multiple posts you have to post a thousand each one so that's that and what you want to do as well is after posting the photo of like let's say if you're posing or something you also have to post a photo of exactly everything you use you don't have to post a photo of your like your stat builds just the weapons and the things here from this photo i can see by myself that i am using five hats and i'm also using the boss game pass that's minus two points and also uh, zero points because I am using five hats from the photo here But is it dark sea related? Heck yes. I'm using almost everything here as uh, Blast modifiers and it looks insane but yeah This is how it works and The way I'll the way the payment thing will work is that I'll literally just go and ask you like hey Do you want to pay now and I'll go in game and once you have paid once I've gotten the, the payment then I'll put your post as paid. Here I can see edit, edit tags, paid. I can remove it, I can add it. And only I can add it. And so it'll make me it'll make it much easier for me to see who has paid and who hasn't paid and who has to pay. So that makes it way more easier. And I'll be also be doing the same way for marking. I'll be going to each post and marking them one by one in the post itself. And then I'll be locking it after I have marked them. So you can just talk in them. So like once you have the once you have Roblox verification, you can go and talk in them however you want. And the last the last thing to note is upvotes will affect your ranking. Upvotes will be added to the to the total like to the total amount of rating that you get from me. I have a whole rating system. So this is the entire system. This is the way I'll be marking them. I'm like rating them. And the community will also have a say with like how many like like the the how many votes it has. A community can like a post, like the one I have here, but they can also dislike a post. And what this will do is that you basically have to like it has to look really good if the community doesn't like it you'll get minus points from that of course and it, it ticks minus crosses and don't worry this cannot be spammable because of how roblox verify works because i made it only roblox verify <laughs> if someone wants to like spam their their things they would have to get a discord account a roblox account verify them both and then only can they enter to like give themselves a tick or minus to everyone i would say that use this wisely if this if this isn't being used if the if the cross system isn't being used and it's like like everyone is just giving everyone else like each other like crosses please don't do that i want this to be fair and like just 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 do it for good faith this is just for fun and yeah that's about it so yeah I'll be making this public tomorrow. Well, yeah, it will start tomorrow. I mean, well, I, you know what? I'll start it today. Why not? <laughs> Might as well start it today if I'm making the video today and the thing today. So, yeah, so that's it. That's it for the drip video, a drip contest. It will start today and it'll end two weeks from now. Two weeks. You have two weeks to post your thing and so it all gets sorted. And then I'll be rating each one as time goes. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye-bye. Drippity drip drip.